Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. So in this episode I am going after an Institute Corsa to get some device from its body and I've uh, traced it all the way to Green Attack Genetics. So let's start shall we? Let's see if I'm prepared for the challenge ahead of fighting what is essentially a Terminator. A Fallout Terminator. Technically the regular Terminator is a Fallout Terminator. Yeah, because it's after a nuclear war. Um, a Fallout version of the Terminator. There you go. Uh, okay, this is not <laughs> filling me with encouragement. Seeing a bunch of bodies everywhere. Oh, this should be fine. Corsair's on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there's more. You might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. What the hell is happening? Yeah, I have no idea how I'm, uh, how I'm going to defeat this guy. That being said, this thing is doing a decent job on these guys, so... Might not be that bad. This Corsa is doing a number on these guys. That being said, it is doing one hell of a one hell of a job on this, so definitely worth the money. I don't even know if I said what I wanted to say there. I think I zoned out because those guys were shooting at me. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, you know, judging by how like Sweet. in terms of like ammo I got for it and how many rounds it's taking to kill these guys, it was definitely an investment. Uh, come on, there you go. Ah, those glasses look kind of cool. I'll take them.
What in the hell? Oh, you gotta be shitting me! Oh, come on! What was that? Was that like a... Was that like a tripwire? Ah, oh, I can't believe I died that way. I start back from the beginning now. I have to shoot my way through these morons. Ah, it's really right at the beginning too. Well, that's why you quick save, ladies and gents. Okay, I'm not going to be that picky now when I go through here, just pick up whatever I can. Make up for some lost time. Probably save when I get to that bridge. Oh, that was different. That was a lot of arm movement, wasn't it? Or was that just me? Like, he flailed a lot. Quick save. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. Alright, go back. And load again. Really happy I quick save now. And now they have now I have some idea of what killed me. Ah, yeah.
What? Mm. Last mistake! Good dead. Yep. It was definitely your last mistake. Okay, so I'm up here now. Uh, I, I just know there's going to be a gun behind that. Fall back to original position. The torsor's nearing the elevator. Yeah, I know. Like, what in the hell is going on up there? I want to know what gun this course is using. Oh, you prick. Oh, that was close. Wasn't quite sure if it rolled down the stairs or not. Didn't seem to. Alright, here I am. Uh, okay, that's not good. God, if I was these guys, I'd play dead. I mean, the course I would probably know. But I'm almost sure that'd be my best chance of living through this. Just pretend I was dead. Does that mean I'm thirsty when the character's got his tongue out like that? Like the little pit boy thing? Okay, I don't know. And that was fun. Again, just play dead. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Here goes nothing. No, bye, Deacon. Ah, oh, hello, Deacon. Here's the moment of truth. I don't know the password. I'm telling the truth. 
Are you here for the synth? What synth? If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? And just who is this synth anyway? A fugitive. Runaway Institute property. I'm shutting her down and bringing her back. You, on the other hand, will die like the rest of them. Well, that's not <laughs> nice. There's the Mona. Okay, this gun is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm sure that fight took me maybe two or three attempts and that's not just on the first time round that took me two or three attempts like on a few occasions you're going to kill me then do it hey there get away from me he he deserved to die i know you're not here for me but i can't get out not on my own i'm going to have to trust you to help me who are you we'll talk when you open the door i promise i won't run the guard put the password in a toolbox over there under the stairs use it to gain access to the terminal and open the door get away from me what did she say something about toolbox ah there you go Designation is K198, but I prefer Jenny. So yes, I'm a synth. If you hadn't already guessed, I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too. But then I was captured by these mercenaries, and all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Hey. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to look for supplies before heading out. All right, she's not going to talk to me again. Bye. If I recall too, that Corsair armor isn't too good. Wow, I see that's not too bad. 30, 15, 15. And if I get that perk, what is that perk? Come to think of it. Endurance, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's that one. It is that one. So I can get at least plus 30. Next, three levels up I get. I'm going into that one. So, yeah, that'll be pretty decent. Probably nowhere near what I am now. 
because I'm already, what, 30? 38, 40, so... I've already got more defence now than I would have wearing that uniform. Alright, so now, now that I've defeated the Corsa, quite easily I might add, which surprises me more than anyone else, uh, I need to decide how I'm going to build the molecular transfer thingy, the teleport machine. Not quite sure yet. Do I go to Desdemona? I'm definitely not going to the Brotherhood, because I, you know, I was a fan of the Brotherhood in Fallout 3, not so much in this game. In this game, they seem more like fascists. Sort of. Uh, what does the pit boy say? Have the Corsa chipped analyze. Uh, chip analyze. Um. All right, I could go up here actually. Because you don't necessarily have to go to any of the other factions, because you're sort of in charge of your own faction. So, eh, there's always that. I mean, the guys did uh, make me general of the Minutemen, so I'll go and see Sturgis. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... No, it's just a case of finding Sturgis. Okay, this might be a while. There's Preston. Alright. I'll do that at some point. Oh. Um, How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? I'm still searching for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. Shall do. Where's Sturgis? I really should study my lines. Sturgis, you clever SOB, where are you? Oh yeah, like the little crappy armory that I was in the middle of the building and then ran out of supplies for. Tried putting weapon racks on the walls, but they wouldn't stick. Don't know why. Uh, Sturgis around here. My back hurts, my feet hurt, everything hurts. What the hell? Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Any place you want me to pitch in? Yeah, let me show you. Sure. All right. Sturgis. Ah, you saw it where I... Yep, well, she is a gem. I have no idea where Sturgis is. 
I should have seen him by now. Cordsworth. I'm half tempted just to like, sit there and wait until daytime. You might actually appear then. Oh, what's this? Preston, my suit. Sturgis, you handsome son of a bitch. Get up off that bed. Hey, Sturgis. Ah, uh, I need you. You willing to do some work? Oh. I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Go to bed, you lazy bastard. Hey, Sturgis. Uh, I've done all these anyway. I forgot he gives like you quests. It. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source oh. of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Thanks again. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help. But our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Hey, Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make... Hey, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Oh, feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. When? I just want to trade a few things. No, I don't want to trade. I'm sure you can help me with this trip. Let's trade some things. Hey. Uh Alright, let's go and see Preston. Ah, oh, Preston's up there. Oh, I'm sure I can use the Minutemen to analyze this chip. Excuse me. I've heard that folks at Finch Farm need some help. The Minutemen should be the ones that answer that call. Okay, fine. How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. No, nothing. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, never mind that. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the railroad. There's me going like, yeah. I don't have to do any of this shit. Got my own guys. It's like, nope, my own guys suck. So, let's go and see the railroad. I know I get the option to build the teleporter thingy wherever I like. Which is probably what I'll do in Sanctuary. In one of the... probably next to the conveyor belt. I might move the conveyor belt, I don't know yet. Randolph safe house has got another dead drop for you. Desdemona. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Oh? What have you heard? One of our agents took a courser. Alone. Something I'm not even sure Glory could do. And that agent is you. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but why'd you do it? 
Do you know anything about decoding a Courser chip? You have one of their chips intact? Follow me now. Decoding a Courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Sometimes Fortunately, the got it right. we have the right man for the job. Ask that oh, hey, dude. You need something? Tom, we got a Courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, Keep it's been tracker. ages! Best. You could learn a lot from him. I was power the jacket and whammo, it hit me! Got some ideas on how to kid out deliver. Make your super bad ass gun even more. Well, more. So check out my stock. Let's take a look. I will set you up, my friend. Chinese officer sword. A flamer. Uh, uh-huh. Think of Tom special. Sniper rifle. Not really my thing. What can we get off the Courser chip? Those chips have more than just codes on them. Everything from how it's made to what it's made from tells us something about our enemy. One minor detail could mean the difference between life and death for our agents and the synth we're trying to save. Now hand it over and let's get it analyzed. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard, I got you. Software in. Come on, show me that... Says Demona. Give Tom time. Yeah, we got it. Okay, we got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, does. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Hopefully I fast travel to the inside of the cave and not the outside. I can just imagine I'll spawn and bloody death claw will get me. And it's outside. Let's move it. Oh, there's only one rad. Two reds. But I am positive I just heard a death claw move somewhere nearby. So it's, yeah, good thing I got in. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. 
you need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later, but if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. This device, this will get me into the Institute? Yes, if built correctly. And please get it right. You have to make it in there for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Right, so now the Minutemen come into it. That makes sense. Yeah, so now I can go and see Sturgis and he'll help me build it. Really happy I got to that pit boy in time. These things are terrifying though, aren't they? Like, what the hell did they mutate from over the years? I know it's like a, like a lizard, maybe? Damn. We should get out of here as soon as we can. Let's say we get out of here. What do you need, General? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? Did you know the Institute has a teleporter? They call it the Molecular Relay. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, Make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Sturgis, you clever SOB, get back here. Hey. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Do you think you can build this? Wow, what a mess. Hmm. Looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? I got this from someone who should know what he's talking about. Can you build it or not? Well, yeah, I think so. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. 
handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. So, Sanctuary. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I dread to think what comes next, though. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Sure did. Yeah, ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Uh, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building side and see if we can actually make this thing work. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. All right, let's see what I can build right now. I can build the console. I can build the bit. Ah, I can build the dish. All right. All right. Oh, that was nice. Lucky too. Yeah, I should probably move the doghouse. <laughs> I'll go and build a power reactor thing. Go and build another Jenny. Jenny! Which I can build 13 of now. Wow, what have I done? I've done something. I've got a lot of stuff, like a lot of resources now, all of a sudden. Oh, to be fair, I got 50 copper. My main problem is that I don't have enough aluminium. What the?
Look how many generators I have. And it's still saying I don't have enough power. Ah, I don't get it. Alright, let me... Build another one? I guess, maybe? Oh, wow. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much as far as I'm gonna go, I think. Plus, it's, I think it's only good for, like, one use, isn't it? And then it blows up. Alright, this is looking promising. This, however, is where I'm going to call an episode, the episode to an end. That's pretty much all I wanted to get done in this episode. Hope you're enjoying the walkthrough so far. I am making some serious progress in these last few episodes. And I'm probably going to stick with the uh, main quest line for a little bit longer. Before taking a break. And, you know, doing some of the side stuff. Uh, if you could leave a like, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. Uh, do one, two, or all three. Any amount helps a great deal and is greatly appreciated. For now though, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and until next time, you take care of yourself and have a great day.